everybody, my name is Chris Shardogs, the Bob 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 for Theme Park News, and welcome to another Theme Park News update here on Chris Chai YouTube channel. This is from Thought Park Resort, and we have some very special news. We have a brand new announcement of a brand new attraction coming to the park this spring. Uh, so we're going to give you all the details and also share my exciting thoughts on this. So, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media, and keep getting your questions in for the 1,000 found subscriber Q&A, which will be taking place a couple of weeks after we hit the milestone. So get all of those in, and let's get into this video. So this is all about Black Mirror Labyrinth. Uh, this is the world's first Black Mirror experience set to come to Thought Park in spring 2020. We're going to give you all the details right now. So let's have a look then at the official details of Black Mirror Labyrinth. So... As reports on social media, Black Mirror Labyrinth will be joining the Thought Park official lineup in 2020. Opening in the spring, this world's first live Black Mirror experience will invite guests to enter a hypnotic maze using cutting edge visual technology and sensory defying environments. Promising the experience in an unpredictable digitalized dimension where guests may lose themselves in the mainframe, guests are advised to reveal an uneasy truth that manipulates and displaces their very existence. Now, two big things that I've taken from social media uh, on the backlash of this announcement is that it's not an upcharge attraction and it's set to be, very likely, if not certain, to be replacing Walking Dead Living Nightmare. However, this is officially unconfirmed by the park themselves so far. Uh, but we understand with Jungle Escape returning as it is, we believe this is going to be replacing the Walking Dead Living Nightmare. Now, of course, I did a video uh, about a month or two ago now uh, or a few weeks ago at least um, on the close on the well the like what you know what's the future of Walking Dead Living Nightmare you know is it going to come back we've heard rumours of it closing this kind of adds two and two together doesn't it Walking Dead Living Nightmare uh, not coming back um, for Fright Nights so it could be the end of the Walking Dead license ship maybe or is it just the start of the end of the Walking Dead license ship uh, we don't know at this point, uh, but from what we can see on social media, it's very certain, if not definitely certain, that this is in fact replacing The Walking Dead Living Nightmare. Um, and yeah, I did do a video, I do remember doing a video on what will be the long term future for The Walking Dead Living Nightmare. Please go and watch that video if you haven't already, because I display some very interesting points. Um, about pros and cons, about what could happen if it does go. And I think with this possibly, if not certain to be replacing Walking Dead Living Nightmare with Jungle Escape returning, um, you know, this is this is definitely good signs. Um, now, like we said, it's a, it's a maze with sensory defining technology, uh, cutting edge sensory experience. Uh, and I, and to be fair, I said, you know, I want to see a sensory experience replace The Walking Dead Living Nightmare or Jungle Escape, either one of the two. And I got it right. It's a sensory experience. It's a maze, technically, but it is still a sensory experience. So I'm really excited about this attraction. The fact that it's not an upcharge as well makes it even better. It just makes, they're using, they're using little in terms of the type of attraction, you know, it's, it's your normal kind of maze attraction, like a labyrinth kind of attraction. But what they're doing is they're just bulking it up to a max, like a times a hundred. This is like, this is like a, a, new, a usual, this is a sci-fi labyrinth times a hundred. This has got all the makings of what it could be. And also with the Black Mirror experience sort of uh, theme, I think it's a really good thing to go for. So the fact that it's not an upcharge gives me experience uh well with my experience with thought park and their announcement of new attractions in the future i think this gives me good signs if it's not an upcharge and especially if it's this bulk top so you know this i think this is a really shocking announcement through everyone i think everyone was a bit surprised about this um i think a lot of people were thinking uh, either a Stealth 3 theme or something to do with the coasters being refurbished or like a f I think there was a couple of people commented in the last video yesterday when we discussed all the teasers so far about a uh, Feared 5 challenge coming back. Uh, so a lot of people were talking about a lot of things but I don't think anyone expects a Black Mirror type attraction. 
So, a very shocking announcement, but very, very exciting. I don't think there's really many negative people out there about this. If you are negative and you've got your own opinions, that's absolutely fine. But I think most of us in the community itself are very positive about this announcement. And the fact that it's not an upcharge makes me want to go back to Thought Park. I really want to go back to Thought Park now, either this year or next year, sometime in the future, in the next couple of years. I want to try and get back to Thought Park give you guys the first vlog from Thought Park on this channel as well uh, and do Black Mirror Labyrinth while it's still here so you know it's going to open in the spring we don't have an exact opening date as of yet but I'm sure Thought Park will officially confirm that uh, like we said um, again we're not confirmed on location but it's very likely to be replacing The Walking Dead Living Nightmare so that's the next part I wanted to talk about. What is the future of Fright Nights? You know, is The Walking Dead going to go? Is Living Nightmare replaced, or very certain to be replaced by Black Mirror Labyrinth? The phase one, shall we say, of the end of The Walking Dead, you know, is um, The Walking Dead going to become X again? Uh, I did get that question for the Q&A video, so I will answer that, my thoughts on that. I'm not gonna say that now. Um, you know, um, obviously there was The Walking Dead Do or Die as well, that's where Bouncilla is, you know, so is that going to be replaced with an attraction or a permanent attraction? Or is that going to be rethemed into a brand new maze? You know, will it happen in 2021 Fright Nights? You know, is it going to happen 2020 Fright Nights? Is it the end of The Walking Dead? Uh, well, was 2019 the, uh, the last year of The Walking Dead in Fright Nights? You know, is that going to be it? Is The Walking Dead the ride right, going to be the only Walking Dead themed thing? there or if they just cut back on the walking like they sort of have they renewed the walking dead license ship and they've sort of uh cut back so one of the walking dead licensed attractions or mazes uh, has been cut out of the lineup so they can stick to the two to sort of save a bit of money on the license ship and do two attractions themed to the walking dead rather than three uh so they cut back on one of the mazes just to keep it as one maze in a ride uh, we don't know at this point, we don't know what goes out behind closed doors at Thorpe Park with the license ship of The Walking Dead. Same with the license ship of Saw. There's been a lot of questions over the couple of years about the license ship of Saw, the ride. Obviously, that is the only sort of major coaster that was, was not involved in the teaser campaign for this. So, you know, does this mean that, um, you know, are we going to see a retheme of Saw next year? Uh, is something going to happen to Saw next year? Are we going to see some kind of announcement if it's not been teased along with the rest of the coasters? Or is it just, you know, just five coasters being teased? I, I, well, four technically. Uh, Colossus, Swarm, Inferno and Stealth. You know, um, you know, is Saw the fifth one? You know, is is, 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 is there going to be no feared five challenge? Is Saw the ride going to uh, be refurbished or removed for a new coaster in the future perhaps? Again, that that's probably going to be questions that we'll come to answer in the future. But I think today it's all about Black Mirror Labyrinth and the Walking Dead license ship's future uh, that's going to be answered. And I think, like I said, I'm not going to answer whether I think X is going to come back as the, if the Walking Dead the ride goes. Um... Same with Do or Die, really. I'm not too sure um, what this means. I mean, if The Walking Dead Do or Die is coming back, then fair enough. If it's not, then at least we're going to see a brand new maze at Fright Nights this year. So, um, yeah, very exciting stuff. I think with the success of Creek Freak Massacre last year as well in the Loggers Lake Q Line Station, I think that a new maze to replace Do or Die, even though Do or Die has been getting good reviews the last couple of years, do or die if it gets changed into a brand new maze. I think with the success of Creek Freak Massacre, I think the Thought Park can pull off a new maze really, really well in its opening year and just try and keep it going. So uh, I think that's the focus for Fright Nights now with this announcement. I think if Walking Dead Do or Die does go, what will the new maze be like if it is going to be a new ro maze replacing Do or Die or it's going to be shut for a permanent attraction in the future? Uh, and also the future of Walking Dead, the ride's going to be put into account. And also, what are people going to think about this Black Mirror Labyrinth? So, I'm really excited about this attraction. Yes, it's not a massive multi-million pound dart ride or roller coaster or thrill ride or anything like that. It's just an, a simple attraction, but they... But it looks like from the teaser post they're going to theme it up brilliantly. So I think there's real potential here with this ride. Uh, I can't even call it a ride. It's an attraction. It's an experience. I can't even call it a ride. But that's the good thing. I like that it's an attraction slash experience. Because it gives me so much confidence. There's so much creative potential with this attraction. So I'm really happy. If people were coming on there thinking I was going to be negative. Sorry, I've just, sorry to disappoint you. But I absolutely love this ride. Well, attraction. 
Um, I think this is going to be fantastic. I think the teaser poster looks fantastic. I mean, you saw it on the screen when I was reading off the details and the information that we got uh, about this attraction, this about about this experience. So, um, again, really excited about this, and I can't wait for the announcement of more things to come in the future. So. You know, a lot of people are saying it. Is this the start of Thought Park making big investments in the future? Who knows? Uh, is this the, you know, this is a great way to start the decade off for Thought Park, in my opinion. I think this is a great way to start it off. So, thank you very much for watching this theme park newsroom update about Black Mirror Labyrinth at Thought Park Resort. Again, if it is there next year as well, I might try and get down there as soon as possible, as best I can, to get out there, get a vlog for you guys, and get my thoughts on Black Mirror Labyrinth. But thank you very much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell. See you this YouTube video and for now guys my name is Coach Chalky and the Coast Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day my friends